This video is going to show you all the possible oil leaks on a steel chainsaw. This one's an 017. Um, some of the things are going to be covered are going to be maintenance, but I'm just going to go through order how the oil system works too, just so you're, that, that's what helped me understand everything going on with it. So as far as leaks, first you could start, uh, you may possibly have a leak around your cap if it's cracked. You won't know until you crank it down. Um, to look for the crack. Uh, the next, well, the most common leak is the oil tank is inside. And underneath here, there's other videos showing how to take it apart and everything. There's a grommet that goes into the tank. That hose, if it's old, could be cracked or broken. And then it also plugs up and goes up into the body where your oil pump is, which is located right below this. Uh, you can't really see it inside, but they're low-cost parts you can get online anywhere. The pump itself can come out, uh, It's I think it's a size 8 screw, it screws into it, and then you pull it just straight out, you lift it straight this way, and it is indexed, so when you go to tap it back in. Um, now I also had problems where mine overheated, and the oil tank itself actually melted on top. So that's something you may want to do. You would have to take this whole assembly apart to get to that. Also, for getting to the hose, you would have to pull this face off. And like I said, there's other videos that show how to do that. The oil itself then is pumped up through the body. And it comes out into this groove here. You want to make sure this is clear. And the reason why it's a groove is because it follows a hole on your saw bar. One of the other problems I had was inside here. There's actually a, a vent. It's a one-way check valve, or it could be a plug. I want a plug in mine because I couldn't get a, a vent for it. And that was another problem I had when it overheated. It melted it, and it fell out. And I was getting oil leaking all inside of this area. So if you have oil leaking here, that would be your problem. Um, and like I said, it pumps out oil here at the end of the video. I'll show you what oil flow looks like. Another part, how your oil, this is how your oil pump works, is behind your, your clutch, your gear. <clears throat> I'll show you this. This is another common part that breaks. Uh, it's wire gear and this slips in and the threads on this are what operate the pump as it spins. Spinning it by hand you won't see it pump. It has to be uh, under fast speed. Now this I don't have mine apart but it's just a clip and all this comes out. There's a clutch in there and there's videos that show how to un you remove the clutch and all that kind of stuff. Another thing that could happen with this is the end of this wears off. There's a notch in your clutch gear here that this fits into. So when it spins, this this is when it's engaged. This is what operates your pump. Um, that's another common thing that that breaks. Those are all low cost parts. And one more important part of how it operates is on your on your chain bar above the two tightening holes this is a tightening hole tightening hole there's a small hole right here this is where your oil feeds in and lubricates the chain that hole coincides with this groove so as your bar is adjusted, that hole will always be over this, and the oil pumps in, and that's how it gets to your chain. So that's really the whole operating system of, of it in a nutshell. There's plenty of videos showing you how to tear it all apart. Uh, this is probably the only one that explains the entire oil pumping system and how it works. Because that internal pump, when it's, the gear hits, it draws it up through from the tank, and then pumps it out into this area. And like I said, there was a plug here that had come out. Um, another thing to check is internal. You could have a clogged filter. Um, 
mine was original it was never clogged if you let crud get in your oil tank that's going to happen um, but yeah that's pretty much how it all goes and then I'll take this outside and show you what the oil flow looks like uh, as it comes out of this so you can kind of gauge what what natural oil flow is to if you're having a problem if you have oil puddled on the bottom of your case it's most likely the rubber hose and everything under the tank or like I said the cap and then the other one if you're not getting oil flow is this little worm gear uh, which can break or if you have puddled oil here that's your that's your plug of your vent which is next to the exhaust and it's a little tricky to get into okay now I'm going to show you what the oil flow looks like remember it's going to be coming out of this groove and you have to do it with the engine running and you want to um, engage your clutch so you'll your uh, pump will be spinning so let me fire it up and I'll show you you'll see the oil flow out of this and uh, what we've got normal oil flow if you have some bubbles you have a crack in your line somewhere or you may be low on oil I just filled mine so you may see a couple bubbles come out So there you can see the oil's coming out. That's how it works.